So what do you got to mate it to? What's, it, what's the transmission you got in there? Turbo, Turbo 350. 350. I built the car on a budget. Well, it looks good. Looks good. You know. Fabricated a lot of stuff myself. Like these, these are from my Holly. All right. Like I said, these are screen door door knobs. Anderson screen door door knobs. Anderson windows. Yep. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's a good look, man. This is door screen material from Home Depot. Okay. Because you can't buy these stuff from right. Chevy's. You know, this shit's not out there. You gotta think outside the box. Definitely. This is beautiful. Quite a lot of fun building it. Yeah, man, it looks nice, man. You know. From a Toyota Sienna minivan. So the middle seat that was in the minivan was perfect for the back. Right. Perfect fit too, huh? Jeez, it's an awesome fit. You know? You can sit there if you want. Actually, it's very comfortable. Being this, I didn't chop this. Right. It's a comfortable car to sit in. I see. Yeah, right, right. I sit normal like a lot of the Like, he, he's building a 32. But his is chopped, so when he sits in it, his legs could be like straight yeah, out. Yeah, because you sit up at an angle, right? I sit normal in here. This is nice. Well, I'm going to end up putting this. The seat is going to be pretty much on the floor. Right. Because you still gotta be able to look out the windshield, right? Right. If you look like your head to be banging. I got on the roof. space in between the seats and the floor. It's nice. Good. If you want to sit good. So it's electric. No, it's not electronic starter, right? It's regular. I mean, a starter. regular starter. Automatic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's a 1928 Chevrolet. This is a real gangster mobile. See? It's got a shield over straight pipes. Yeah, so I said, I swear that. I use it. I said, that's good. I like this. Turn signals from a Harley. Anderson window screen door. See, look. That is a real functional. Residential window. It's not a car lock door latch. See? Look at this. So this is wood. This is wood right here. This is a wood frame latch. I guess it's a locking mechanism. Yeah, see? I put my phone in my pocket here. So, is that? Oh, man. This is, yeah. See, it's got a. You can't tell, but that's an aftermarket stereo up there. That's wired. And then I think this is a wiper switch. Wipe a little wiper motor. Runs off of 12 volts, I guess. Uh, maybe that's a horn right there. You know, mechanical windows. You see, you, you come to like these, man, because, you know, I mean, uh, see the accelerator pedal. Can't really catch that right there, but bolted to the floor. This is the brake pedal. And it's got a tack on it. It's got a temperature gauge, oil gauge, ammeter or voltmeter, and a small cluster. I like that aftermarket stereo. See? Yeah, man, see? And I still got about another three inches of head space up here. You see? And it's got a dome light from, this is a, well, this is a basic American car, dome light, Cadillac, uh, Buick, Ford, it's all the same. Yeah, yeah. You know, nice steering wheel, aftermarket, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, it's a uh, turn signal switch, it's a hazard right here, and then I guess this would indicate for parking lamps, and then uh, right, and then left. Manual brakes, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
the mask is underneath the floor. Right, that's so. That's what that little cut out in the floor. Right, was. right. You got a, um, speaking for the radiator. That's just for show. Oh, that's for show. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> I actually have a little pump tank I hook up with green Kool Aid. Oh. So, so when I'm at a show on a hot day, I ice to pump green Kool Aid. I'll crack that open. It's a hand pump thing. The hand pump. I'll right? crack it open and I get green Kool Aid coming out. People think I'm drinking <laughs> antifreeze. That's where it looks like right. you're drinking antifreeze. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I did it for fun. People freak out. They think you're drinking antifreeze. Do you know that that force that attracts the most attention on the car? Yeah, because it looked real. You look real. <laughs> My friend gave me the idea, and I'm like, oh shit, that's mm -hmm. great. And <laughs> that that it's funny. That attracts the most attention. Out of anything on the car, that's the first thing people notice. Yes. You know, side pipes. So this is the original Chevy frame, too, that it came yeah, with. Yeah, that's right. the original frame. I boxed it. All right. Yeah, that's awesome, man. What rear end is this? Uh, 1980 Camaro. Camaro? It's you like, have to move the um, spring perches and stuff on, on the back thing? No. Oh, well, yeah. I made... That's a ball thing? Well, I already had... No, no, I made those. Hmm. Oh, that's a uh, box channel. Okay. Oh, see, I see, how, yeah. see how I lowered it? I had to... Because if I didn't, the car would be so, so high up. Right. Right. I can't get a picture of the car. Before I do. Oh. oh. Guy, I was looking at 31 Chevy in Belleville. Um, I was going to ask that question. I don't know what the problem is. But I had seen that with the blocks. The blocks are welded to the axles. Right. I had someone weld them on. And then I drilled a hole enough for it to have the little set of pen in there and then the bolts. Oh, yeah, it's got a block. Okay, I see it. So that gave me my ride. Right there's, right there's a block in there. There's a lifting yeah, block. But that's, I cut it Jeez. and grinded it down to fit, and then my friend welded it on. Okay. It was that, like a 15 gallon tank, 10 gallon tank? 10 gallon. 10 gallon tank. She original gas tank, believe it or not. Oh, yeah? Yep. You just had to add it, what, recoded? Yep. Yeah. My gas gauge doesn't work anymore. I guess the yeah. cork got bad <laughs> in there. And I'm oh, like, that, that had the, um, it's over it here. Had, had the, the cork float. Yeah. Oh, here you go. Yeah. And I really don't want to pull this. I really don't want to try pulling that apart to see if I can fix it because I'm like, what kind of can of worms am I going to open up? It's like, I just stick the tank before I go out and say, okay, I need gas. That used to work, but I think the float went bad. Well, I think it's just like a cork, like a wine cork. Yeah, but tr on, tr on a, but uh, trying on to a get, rod. Trying to get to it. Oh, I see. Fish it out. Is that, that doesn't that cap doesn't come off. If it does, I'm afraid to take that off. I think that my, my, my 29 had that too, but I think it was like a like a radiator cap. It screwed a quarter turn and popped off. I'd have to drop the tank again. I'm like, you know what? It's easy enough to put a stick in there. Yeah, yeah I see. see what you're saying. It's like why? Now, I mean, I found a company that makes a replacement tank for this car, and it would go to 15 gallon, and I could hook up a gas gauge. But I'm like, that's all I need it. Why bother? Mm. You know, well enough, or leave well enough alone. Oh, but a full tank of gas, you can get any, anywhere you want on yeah. Long Island, right? Yeah, tell me, it's a You're never too, tank. never too far from a gas station. Right, exactly. So I'm like, you know what? It's only a matter of reading the gauge. Why open up that can of worms? Yep. You know, I made this extension back here for the car, too. Stopped here. Yeah, I made all this for the plate and everything, and put the lights in here. So 
this is all added on. That section there. And then I made the bracket for the spare tire. This is what happens. Actually, when you look at the car without the spare tire, it's very plain in the back. Yeah. So that just fills up the space well. You also have a nice shimmer in the back now. Right. My 29 had the, uh, it almost looked like a big, like a box on it. Like a, you look like a big beer cooler. I had one. Yeah, like a well, big, you saw when I had a tin cooler. box on the back. You put all your luggage I had in the there. original luggage on, but it was so far gone and beat up, it wasn't worth it. You saw when I put the cooler on the back, right? Yeah. That's, I so take fill up a cold drink, so right. I'm not big. Yeah, I did that. That's, <laughs> that's like a lifesaver. Go to the beach. It's yeah. fun. That's what I built the car for. Just for yeah, fun. it looks great. It looks great, though. See, if you take your spare tire off and you put the box, then you got to then you got to put the spare somewhere. Right. So there's always you always got to put the so where you put the spare in the back seat. Right. No. Well, well, if I'm around you put town, I le I left it at home. So if I needed, someone could run to the house and go get my spare. You know, but I'd rather have the spare. Yeah, you gotta have a spare tire. You don't want to get stuck in. Right. It's a smaller tire. tire than the back. It's like a 15 on the back and 14 on the front. But it's enough to get me home. Yeah, well, that's the whole idea. You can right. put a ball tire on as long as it gets you home. <laughs> that's what I did. You just need something that holds air to get you home. Right. Worry about it when you get there. 